Hi, this is Charlotte, and today I'm going to show you my tips for cutting bias binding. Um, bias for binding, let's put it that way. You can cut the bias, you can use it for anything. So, I'm going to start with a half yard. A half yard makes a nice long piece of bias between seams. So the first thing we want to do is line up the fold on a line of your cutting mat, and I'm going to um, cut off the selvages and I can do this with a two ruler option so I'm going to line up my ruler on a line here and oops, but this up here because I'm right-handed slide this away and pull that up. so now if my lines my fabric edge is not following the lines it's good on that side it's not good here so I'm going to straighten this out because it's really important to have these the right angle. Okay, now we're going to open this up. And this is the wrong side of the fabric looking at you. I'm going to pull this corner down. This is your upper left-hand corner. Pull this down. I'm going to crease that. Now you can do one of two things. You can do one of three things. You can put your ruler on here and trim it very, very close to the fold with your rotary cutter. You can open it back up and lay your rotary, your ruler on that fold and cut, or you can just set your scissors inside that fold. Okay, so I have moved over the triangle to that side. I'm getting ready to sew that on. But for those of you who have difficulty remembering which edge it is that we're going to be cutting, this is our bias cut edge now, the one that you can even see in this humidity, it's already starting to buckle. So here's a tip. Um, how wide are you going to cut your bias? In this case, I'm going to be cutting two and a quarter inch. But if you were cutting one inch or one and a half inch, two inch, two and a half, two and a quarter, take your ruler and lay your ruler on here and let's draw a line. So in my case, I'm gonna be doing two and a quarter inch. So this is one, two and a quarter. And I'm gonna draw a line right here. So this is going to remind you which edge you're gonna be cutting when you come back from sewing it together. So we're gonna go now and sew this piece over here. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. I have sewn this together and I've pressed my seam open. Now, here is the edge that I want to be cutting. These are straight grain going away from me at an angle. I'm going to position this so this is right in front of me. This is going straight away from my body and that is the bias edge. And I know that I'm reminded by that because there's the line that I just drew. So, Here's what is handy, is you can fold this in half now, so these edges are matching, and here is my line that I want to cut on. So you can just line this up and start cutting. However, I would recommend that you figure out how many of the size cut you want. In this case, I need two and a half inches and I have an eight and a half inch ruler, two and a quarter inches, correction, two and a quarter inches, and I have an eight and a half inch ruler. So I can get one, two, three, six and three quarters, I can get three of those out of my ruler. So I'm going to actually position my ruler at the six and three quarter, and I'm going to measure off of this uncut edge. So there is my six and three quarters. Now I can do four and a half 
is two and a quarter twice. So there is my four and a half line right there. And now what this does is this makes this that I am cutting now, that is going to be the perfect size from top to bottom because I am measuring off of my original line. If you do it, my two and a quarter. So now I have three of those. I can set those aside. If I was going along like this and doing two and a quarter and cut, so very often that budges just a little bit, and then I come and I line the next one up, it budges a little bit more. Pretty soon, this line is not um, perpendicular, so I end up with like a little wedge in the fold or it being narrower. The other tip I have is to fold this back down and make this a little bit shorter. And you can see how this is done by folding this up to match, and then this one folds down and meets it. And this folds up and here. And you can continue cutting the same way. So when I have all of my strips cut, I like to stack these, and it doesn't matter whether it's up or down, but I can stack these. And then I'm going to get a point trimmer. And you might be able to use, if you have this handy dandy triangle ruler, my point trimmer is right there. And so I'm going to trim that point off all at the same time. And what this allows me to do is now when I go to sew these together, you see my tip is blunted. And now I know exactly where to place that. My two blunt ends show me exactly where I should be sewing. It's lined up and you're ready to roll. So I hope that helps and you can always pull this up as a reminder how to cut your bias when you need binding. Thanks.